I can speak French. Nice. So you're selecting some languages right here, and then you're wearing this super cool blade. And hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Nick. I'm the CTO of Zoe Meat. This is Zoe, and uh, you have the website zoemeat.com. So where are you from? I'm originally from Singapore, but we are a Dutch startup uh, from Rotterdam. And um, you're wearing the smart glass. Why? Because, why because from here we can trans, uh, transcribe whatever that's been said uh, and translate it. This live is also saved into the archives and the processing done on keyword triggers, uh, meeting highlights, um, yeah, meeting platform. Uh, so where do you get the source material? It's just anything that's been spoken? Yes. In front of you, anything? Correct. So, um, it could be TV? It could be TV, it could be TV. So basically what happens is that uh, we develop this app that uh, is multi-device, device agnostic, multi-platform, uh, synchronized across uh, all devices. And then we met Vuzix and thought, hey, isn't it wonderful and the meetings of the future, uh, the workplace of the future, whether you are repairing a car, doing a call center, or just sitting in a meeting room doing a presentation, shouldn't all your voice, spoken knowledge be captured? Shouldn't it be uh, notes being taken and processed in different languages? That's the future we see. So you can be sitting at the meeting, let's say uh, I could be going to a meeting of a Chinese company, I could just be sitting there with the smart glasses on and I get in real time, I get the translation. Yes, as you can see. And in real time, it translates to all the lang other languages. I would know exactly what's happening. You would get the idea of what's happening. So different language has a different accuracy. That's the machine translation accuracy right now. Uh, English and Spanish is uh, top. Uh, Spanish, uh, French, German are good. Chinese to Japanese is also very good, but English to Japanese is about 50 to 60 percent accuracy, but it still gives you an understanding. And the most important thing is transcription, Japanese transcription, um, English transcription, French transcription, German transcription, not taking. How often have you sat in a meeting and wonder like, hey, what did he just say? Uh, did he say Tuesday or Thursday? Uh, you can review your notes, you can edit your notes. So what I'm seeing here, you're seeing right now in a glass, the same? Yes, actually I'm seeing in Japanese because I was set to Japanese demo. <laughs> so then you see in Japanese what's happening in front of you? Yes, correct. Do you, I don't know if you can capture it in your camera. Um, yeah, I got it right here. So, uh, oh, I just focus on it. So, if we keep speaking, you can see the Japanese uh, translation going on. Uh, one second, I need to go with manual focus. I assume you'll be uh, editing and cutting. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, all this basically is a Japanese, very bright. You have the font to yes. be very visible and very bright. We have green and red in case you are colorblind to green. <laughs> so that's really, really, really awesome. Um, so you could just be uh, a Japanese guy right now. Yep. Could be walking around America on the street and understand what the hot dog salesman is saying. Yes, that's the future of AR. That's, that's a killer app right there. So is it available now? Can people yes. who will have the blade? The blade is yes. for sale. The people who have this, they can download You have a app. blade, uh, look for us in the, in the blade, uh, in the Vuzix app store. Currently, it's free trials. Uh, it will be a subscription coming and we'll be making a very special offer specifically for uh, Vuzix users. Thanks to your support. Can I pay you some uh, little tip and you can add uh, uh, Russian and Ukrainian and uh, some other languages? <laughs> it will come, it will come. We are at the, at the start of this new revolution. It will come. Danish. I need Danish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How Why? do you add more? You just look into the no. Google Translate the Accuracy API is very important. Accuracy the... is very, very important. Look, current machine translation is all trained on text data. It's not trained on spoken data. There's need to do spoken. Spoken data is very unstructured. So you can, you can copy and paste a text and you see the accuracy is pretty good. But yet when you do a spoken meeting, the accuracy drops and we have to take care of our machine learning team to yeah. make sure the supplements But you're connecting to the Google API and the Microsoft and the, uh, which one? Which is exactly about Where? 20 of them. Twenty. Yeah. yeah, so we aggregate and we pick the best of the best. That's why just now I told you one language pair came from a very strange source. 
uh, I shall not say again uh, where it is from, but this is the aggregation. And from the aggregation, we also understand that there are corporate names, your product names, your Bitcoin terminology, <laughs> your, your AR terminology. They're not being picked up by a yeah. general, generic conversation. Yeah, but everybody's talking about AI and it's now. So yeah. we should be able, they, sh they should be able to solve this in the next three years. The technique is there, the models are there. Data, 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 data. So every time you're using it, spoken data is helping to train the spoken translation. I'm happy with 50% accuracy. Amazing. I'm happy with this. Exactly. But they can get to 80% next year. Precisely. You know what? The we 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 uh, we've actually been uh, live uh, betaing this uh, at a meetup, about three to four hundred person meetup, since December last year. The people who don't understand Japanese, like me, going to uh, listen to Japanese, picking up fifty percent means I understand. I'm so happy I understand. The person who came up to me and said, like, hey, it's not really accurate, he understands both languages. This is, uh, this is a little bit mind-blowing because this opens up new opportunities for traveling to new places yeah. and not feeling completely out of the place, right? I love coming here to Japan. It's really amazing, yeah. but it looks like I'm in a cartoon, <laughs> and it looks like I don't really, uh, you know, it'd be cool if I could get a little bit of understanding what's happening. A little bit, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is if, if if you can just have a 50 percent accuracy, it, yeah. it's gonna change my life, uh, everybody's life, if you can get there, right? Yes. So you, this is a great killer app right there. But yeah, that's really really exciting. And but thank, uh, how thanks, far are you, how far are you from uh, changing the world? So for meetings in enclosed spaces, this works. So uh, when you go out in the public, like right now, just now you're saying, when you go out in the public, there's noise factors. Uh, yeah, how far the language is. So sometimes it works very well. Sometimes it. I have an work. idea. But in a meeting room, in a meeting room, in yeah. a meeting space, it always works. I have an idea. Yeah. You need to have a shotgun mic in your hand, <laughs> and you point to the person you need to get the translation from exactly. And it cancels around surrounding sound, yeah. but eventually some al algorithmic uh, noise cancelling microphones could be integrated in the glass that only takes straight ahead and that doesn't take it, the sound. It everywhere. is it is possible. So uh, I would like to appeal to everyone who uh, please bear with us. This is a new innovation. It's starting here. We will get there. We will start checking the boxes. You know, with your support, we'll start ticking them one by one, one by one, and. Uh, yeah. The Blade already supports Bluetooth. Yeah. So you can basically pair a wireless mic to it. Yes. And you can clip it on the person that you need to have perfect <laughs> translations from. Do that. It already increases the accuracy by 20%. Do Exactly. Do that and give me the feedback. Please. I'm going to try. Yes. I'm going to let I you know. I will love you. Cool. This is really awesome. But this is just what you just one corner of this booth. I'm just one corner. Oh, yeah. The Vuzix booth is Amazing Vuzix. So um, I'm gonna do a tour right here at the booth. Thanks a lot. Sure, thanks. I'm gonna check out your app. So hi. Your stock just went up 10%. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> this is really <laughs> mind-blowing game. So, so hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Wilfred. I handle marketing and sales in Asia for Musics. Uh, Musics is a company that's been doing smart glasses for... Two decades? How long? Sorry? More than one decade, right? Long time. Uh, about 20, more than 25 years. 25 years? More than 25 years. And, 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 and half of those years, even, we supplied U.S. military. The military? U.S. military. So, uh, How about the Chinese military also? No, 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 no. no, no. no? Yeah, just U.S. military. Yeah, the Japanese yeah. military? Okay, they're no, part of the... No. No? <laughs> but no. I would say that, you know, the technology is still being used at this time, so we're literally battle-tested. So right? battle-tested. That's... Yeah. Uh, so, but... Um, you are showing some, uh, like, what's happening is that actual normal people are, are able to buy it now, and it's yeah, potentially changing society more and more now. Yes, uh, right? Changing how you're able to just go around the world. You're wearing your glasses, the blade, and basically you get a text message, and you'll see it right there. And you're walking down a restaurant, you see a restaurant, you can see the menu, just looking at the logo of the restaurant, you can see the menu here, make a call, and it will automatically... Uh, and right here, for example, you're just showing that this has been on the market 17, 19, and this, uh, these are real, these are people here. can just pay yes. and buy. Yes. People now can buy this, it's online. And this is not $150,000. 
This is uh, no, that's a hundred and fifty yen. yen. So it's it's about, okay price, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just about fifteen hundred US. Fifteen hundred. So yeah. totally affordable. Very, very affordable. Uh, the I mean, blade for is for sale. How much? Uh, how much is the price of this one? Nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah. What's the latest price? Eight ninety-nine. Eight hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah. It's like cheaper than an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? And and basically with the Blade, what, what's fantastic about it is you can do augmented realities. A lot of people are using this for training. They're looking at the glasses and you're looking at something and they can actually see the breakdown of these things and say, oh, this is the part they need to remove, right? So this is being used for training and for, I, even for medical things. That's So that's really awesome ent enterprise kind of uh, solutions. But I'm my mind is blown when I see this kind of potential consumer killer apps. The consumer, right. So the consumer is like, as I mentioned earlier, you're walking down a, uh, a mall and you can see a store and it's it, because the store is basically, you see the logo, the, the menu would come up and say, okay, this is where you buy the latest shoes and this is the price and you can make a selection and you can make a call and you can make a, actually just say, I want to reserve for this item. And it's the cool thing about it because it but, connects to your phone. But uh, what you're describing sounds like one of these dreams that I've that people have had for decades. But it'd be nice to see it real, where all these apps be available. Can you show some of the demos you have here? With uh, those, your partners here in Japan? Or? Oh yes, yes. This is our partners, but basically this is more for the This is KDDI. Yeah. KDDI basically uh, it's for remote support where a technician in the field is working on a very high specialized equipment and the specialist back in the office can see what he's doing yeah. and they can actually talk. So this one right now is live streaming to, to that one there? Yes. You can see that this is what they see. This is what head office can the see. panel system that they have. Right. And this yeah. is, uh, so what you see here, it gets reported back and you get the Vista Finder MXR. So this is a real solution oh, this is a real solution and the the expert can actually make annotations also on his computer and say this is the wire bit you need to remove and the technician wearing this will see it immediately it's very easy for him now so it's really deployed right here in oh, Japan. Yeah. oh yeah definitely and uh, so there you just uh, pointed out something needs to be done there yeah you can draw cool that's really cool. Let's go around. Yeah. In here, we have a bunch of other remote support. Yeah. This is one doing video conference. And uh, for a video conference, this is awesome because, for example, we have right here, you can see it live. You have like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight different groups. And you say hi, and they would actually, you know, you, you could connect live. This is live. Hey. If you could say hello, you could act with somebody from there will say, okay, which station are you talking to? And then after they, and this is live, by the way, you see the internet, right? Nice. So I could uh, activate my microphone. Hi, everybody, and uh, just saying hi. I hope I'm not waking you up. I mean, uh, you, I'm sure you're not dr uh, sleeping. Yeah, this is all in the It's in the middle of the day in the office, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. This is JMS, uh, Japan Media System. And they're, I think they're number one in Japan right now as far as video conference is concerned. And we're partnered with them because it works with our uh, smart glasses. So it's it's video conference company and they have it integrated with your smart glasses? Yes, yes. And then cool. other here, we have also uh, another group that does uh, remote support as well. So yes. what, what are you showing here? What is going on here? This is uh, this is like the smart glass here and you also have uh, the live stream going on the there. The live stream going on. Um, and you see, it's, uh, this is a very nice way of an application where it's clipped to a hard hat. So it's worn by folks in the field. Similar to, to we're working in Singapore with a company uh, that does cargo loading into aircraft. Very simple. So for loading the cargo into the aircraft. Yes. And then. So it's industrial kind of deployments also. Industrial too. And uh, here's some other demos right here with the, the smart glasses uh, integrated all kinds of different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Right here? You're not in, 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 involved with the Tesla? <laughs> no? But I'm sure they're using uh, Musics also at the Tesla well, factory. Eventually. Yeah. This is one. Uh, we're partnered with Toshiba. 
and Toshiba actually made a Dynabo. This is a small computer. It connects to our glasses, and this is a uh, this is something that's not Android. Type C, Type, Type C. C display. Yes. Yes. So it's using a display uh, uh, this uh, display port system. Yes. Input yes. So there. Basically, yeah. this is the display, and this is your mini computer there. And you have a computer, a, a, a heavyweight computer that you can wear. Yes, and this is your... Uh, and running the battery off this too? So battery forever? Yes, yes. yes. This is an aw awesome application. So who's using this? Oh, uh, a lot of companies are using... Well, some companies are looking at this now uh, for different applications. Uh, one for like airport, their boarding passes. They want to look at this and say, okay, I, I recognize you, your password the same. I don't need to go to the which airport? airport. I want to go there. Uh, Singapore is looking at this. Singapore airport. Singapore is looking it, at this. Uh, not yet. Not yet, but they're looking. Maybe at in this. a few months later. Yes. Yes. I've never been to Singapore. I want to go there oh, just to see should. this. You I should. just want to go to the airport just to see this demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that would be the coolest passport control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, just with, um, uh, it's a it's dinner under the dinner book. Um, uh, famous Toshiba Enterprise branding, right? Yes. 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 Right. yes. yes. All right, cool. Thank you. And here you have another solution in this corner. Yeah, this is another partner. This is basically for uh, again remote support. So what's happening here? So there's a, you have the smart glass going on, and then you can do a remote call. Yeah. Yes. And then remote support of who? So once it's connected, there's. Uh, Remote call going on with a customer support system. Something yes, like that? Yes. You also have this one? Ah, oh, no, no, no. No, this it's is something else? This, uh, this is a translator. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Translator. Okay. <laughs> All right. But th th this is the big story of, uh, of Vuzix and the smart glass in general. This is the, is the coolest kind of thing, but you need to have killer apps, right? Oh yes, and these are how they're coming. They are there even. They're there. We have a bunch of partners that can do that. That's the app already. The blade. We even have a contest, ongoing contest right now. If you have come up with a, a, a nice application, you get a really nice Tesla. Ride. Well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. All right. This is very nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice demo here. Yeah. Is it ready? Yeah. Ah, it's doing from one to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's connected now or is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, it is it connecting? No. No, not oh, no, no. Okay. No problem. Yeah. We'll move back. No problem. Yeah. No worries. Cool. So, uh, where where are you most busy right now around the world? Because the the headquarters is in New York, right? The headquarters is in New York. Uh, Singapore is actually. A very very good market for us. I, as I mentioned to you, this company uh, that does cargo loading uh, into aircraft using our device. This is happening. It is happening now. This has been and not just a little prototype in the corner. No, 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 no. This is like we're talking about 600 units. Really? Yes, I'm being used. Fully right deployed. Now. Fully deployed. Yes. And then we're looking at a company. I can't say the name right now, but a company in China is looking at using this for doctors. And they want to see that you know, as the doctors looking at uh, working on the patient, several doctors that can actually also uh, help him out while doing this. And this is live, right? It's uh, freeing up their hands. Uh, it's very important. This is yeah, hands free, and this is very important. Humans, one of the cool things we have is hands. Exactly. We don't want to be busy holding a tablet or holding something, phone or laptop. We need to do something with our hands. Yes, exactly. And have the smart glass. Exactly. Music. That's the way to go.